this is Daniel and behind the camera I got Dominic and today we're gonna tackle this monster a um, couple months ago the uh, central locking failed not sure if that's uh, because of a motor issue I know the vacuum pump doesn't work as well because the door don't pull themselves in anymore so let's find out what's going on let's try to diagnose it I hope it's just a fuse uh, if not we're gonna start taking the car apart so let's get started all right, so for the last couple of months, we haven't been really driving the car a lot because um, the only way to open the car is with the key. So you are standing in front of an S500 Mercedes having to do this and then reaching in and then do this, which it's not a very nice way to travel. So it kind of sucked and uh, we're here today to fix it. So let's get into the trunk. Let's open this up. And the way to get in here is you use the same key and you pop this open like this and I can't tell you how much of a pain in the ass it was so uh, let's see what we have to do let's try to check the fuses first so the first thing we're gonna have to check is um, the fuse box underneath the seat um, there's a fuse here that I already replaced once and it keeps popping and um, we have to figure out why, so let's grab the fuses I bought one day over at the auto parts store on the first day that it actually happened. Let's pop it in and let's listen to what's going on. So there's a clicking sound coming out of here and it keeps clicking, clicking, clicking and then eventually the fuse just burns out. So we have to see what's underneath here. Let's take everything apart. Alright, so these clips uh, came up, uh, all you have to do is lift them up and it's a really cool, ingenious design. I guess Mercedes thought, oh, you're driving an S-Class, uh, we're not going to use the peasant clips, we'll make our own. So there you go. So let's remove this. Mm, here we go. Alright. Okay, so we found where the noise is coming from, the vacuum controller. So something in here is not doing too great. Let's try to pop another fuse in and let's hear it, listen for the noise. And this is unplugged. So we just took it apart. Obviously there's some clicking coming out of the vacuum pump system and this is responsible for sucking in your doors and the trunk and also your central locking system. So that's why our central locking system doesn't work because it's vacuum activated. Something that I see is it's all black in here. So it could be because the electronics we hear it clicking it could be that the motor just doesn't fire up. So when we had our original issue about a year ago with the uh, fan for the cabin, 
uh, it looked just like that. It's just worn out. It's old. It's been now 15 years. When I blew it out, it bought us another month or two before it actually finally died. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow this out, see if I can make it work. In the meanwhile, I'm going to hop on eBay and buy another part. So from what I've researched and I had a feeling this is what it's going to be. I was hoping it's going to be something easy. It didn't turn out to be that way. On eBay, I find these from anywhere from $150 to $300, which is my best bet. Even at advanced auto parts, I'm looking at $800 that includes discounts and coupons and all that stuff. Amazon, I'm looking at $1,200. And I don't even want to get into how much Mercedes wants for that uh, one little part. Uh, so let's get it all blown out. Let's put it back together. Let's hope I can get another month or two of uh, uh, usage out of it. I sh if I uh, win a bit on eBay, I should be able to get that in a week or two. And we're going to go ahead and replace it. So let's get started. All right, let's get this all put together back in reverse. After maximum effort, um, we were not able to put it together. Uh, I plugged it in before reassembling everything just to make sure we plugged it in and it just keeps clicking. So if I would have let it in there longer, it would have just blown another fuse. So let's get on eBay and let's go and buy another unit. Let's hope we can find one for a good price. All right, so it's about a week later and we got our new part in from eBay. So this is our old part right here. This is our new part, well, new old part. Descend it with the housing. Here we go, this is what it looks like. So, comparing it, it should look identical. It's from Bosch. It has the same plugs and arrangement. However, it is a different part number. This is the new one. This is the old one. So I talked to a few eBay sellers of these parts that they're parting out from totaled uh, W220s. And the cheapest guy which sold this for $111 shipped said it was, it is not compatible. I talked to another guy who's selling it for $200, which I bought. He guarantees it for 30 days and it guarantees that the part number cross references. So the first one didn't do any refunds, no exchanges, no nothing. So it was too high of a risk for me to buy the cheaper part, which I should have gone with, but I had my doubts. So let's see if this looks the same and uh, let's see if it works. So let's go connect it. All right, I'm glad we marked it with right and left because I wouldn't have remembered where it's going to go. installed the one that we got from eBay and unfortunately the pump doesn't work either so we're gonna have to see uh, return this pump hopefully get our money back uh, through eBay and uh, figure out what other solution we can come up with to make this work um, I guess I'll be hitting the forums I'll see you guys in a bit all right so here we go here's the third attempt third day of trying to get this right um, we got our package yesterday in the mail and we're going to hopefully get a working PSC pump that goes in the trunk so let's get to it
worked. I can't believe it. Third try, second motor. Uh, I'm so relieved. It's been a couple months since I didn't have any uh, door locks or, or soft closed doors or even getting into the trunk. You know how painful it is to take this key out and use this key to get into the car every time? Forget about it. I'm glad it's done. So let's button it back up. Let's put it back together and we're done. Here we go, another job done. Um, $225, that's the total cost of this because I bought it on eBay. Now you have to be careful uh, to get the exact same part number. Um, it, there, there's so many different versions from what I understand is if the part number is higher, um, it may work on a car that had a lower part number but if uh, yours was for example at 10, and like in this case, and you get a four like I had before, it will it's not cross compatible so this is something that I've been able to gather from the forums not sure if it's exactly true I was able to find another one that had exactly that number 10 on it which popped it in you've seen how easy it is plug it in done um, easy job easiest one probably to date uh, I just had to wait a very long time because I wasn't able to get the part so finally that I got the part it's in it's working so I'm so happy if you want to go new aftermarket, that part is probably about $800, so you have to gauge it if it's worth it for you or not. In my case, $225, that's all it was. Just make sure when you bid on eBay, they have a guarantee that it works. Because the first one I bought, I paid uh, $180, $190 for, I believe. I popped it in, it didn't work. Not sure if it was a bad part or if it just wasn't a compatible part number. But there you go. If you have your headrests not working, your door locks not working, or your soft clothes not working, this is how you're gonna fix it. Till next time, take care.